welcome to today's video where we're going to go back to the basics and make a present for a friend. Well, two friends, Pete and Nikki. They have a wonderful little place on a beautiful lake, and because of that, they have a boathouse. And that boathouse has a motif, so we're going to be trying to add to that today. After roughing out my idea with a graphite pencil, it's time to start going in and doing some of the simpler lines. When I wood burn, I like to use a mini flow point. It's the smallest one I have. And I kind of approach wood burning almost like a 2D sculpture. I'm kind of gently chipping away at the wood or burning away at the wood and bringing out the image as I go. One thing about pyrography, as you're doing it, you're gonna have a bit of carbon buildup on the end of your wood burning tool. So that's why you'll notice I have a tea ball and I use that to gently tap off the uh, residue that's on my wood burning tool. So you'll notice me doing that from time to time. I don't always stick with the lines I've drawn in, and as I go, I do erase what's there so it's not showing through. Clearly the rope was the most tedious part. I created it using a series of S shapes and I went with the direction that the rope is going to create those little fibers to make it look like a rope. I'm privileged enough to have two different wood burners, so at this point I started dual wielding because the tip of one would go a little bit cold, so this way I always had a hot mini flow point ready. And to finish it off, I'm going to use a watercolored pencil, like I've done in the past with other wood burning projects. And then I'm going to use rubbing alcohol and a watercolor paintbrush to turn it into a bit of a stain. And I'm using rubbing alcohol so it doesn't cause the grain of the wood to raise like water would, and rubbing alcohol is also going to dry a lot quicker. Hopefully my friends will enjoy this new addition to their decor. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more fun with art.